Yeah, today's episode will come from the Duke's Golf Course in St Andrews, but uh, there's a little something that's caught my attention. St Andrews to take home with me it is the magic weapon and I'm assured it's guaranteed to hold birdie putts let's see how we get on at the Dukes this afternoon Right, first tee shot at the Dukes. There's a fair bit of sand from what I can gather. a chance for what would be a miraculous par on the second hole which believe me is one tough hole I haven't seen the stroke index but 437 um, I didn't switch the camera on off the tee I uh, leaked one out to the right tip out sideways because you've literally got to be left hand side of the fairway um, to get a line into this green it's probably about four foot left like I said for a dramatic par Yes, he makes it. The first putt on camera for the Nap Putter, as it's now. Right, I've asked for the camera to go on because this is the moment that the nap sinks its first I'm gonna go for almost we'll go 40 foot across the green it's a bold and a big ask but I think the nap's got it in it this is its debut when it's been called upon it's either in or off the green could be off the green <laughs> oh stop wow that's a great par three stunning old big feature obviously you've seen already from many of the holes we've played that the bunkering is huge um, in terms of its defense heather on the top of it which gives us this kind of rugged feel there's no kind of uh, trimmed edges they're all kind of uh, that kind of rugged look to them and i think it looks superb it's a great visual but uh it's also like i said a massive defense of the golf course as well Right, come on then, the nap. 
Can you save yourself? No, maybe not. Bogey four. Another super hole on ninth. Great par four. Great backdrop. The clubhouse sits so proudly upon uh, on, on the rise there and great views over the bay. Um, it'd be nice if I could hold this. Gonna break a bit as well. Could do, could do. Oh, decent roll. But yeah, stunning backdrop. And uh, another lovely hole at the Dukes to be fair. And that's uh, that's not a bad par either. Right, the sun's out for the back nine. Oh, brings out the best in me. Well, looks to be an interesting hole from right to left. That's a decent start. Right, so a word of warning, if you do play the 10th hole, then uh, what you'll have seen like I did, which was the uh, the bunker right in front of us, so we didn't want to go long into that. You try and hit that shot sort of around the corner, but then there's a burn that is literally another sort of maybe 20, 30 yards away. And again, stopping you get too aggressive, potentially over that corner. And the green sits, as you can see, up on a bit of a plateau. Stunning little golf hole. There's a bit of breeze which you might pick up on the microphone and I'm hoping that's going to help me. Oh, it's not the best shot that hand. You could probably pick it up. Oh, the breeze helped me. I might get the back end. I thought it was in the bunker, uh, but not the best of shots. Pulled down the left a bit after a great tee shot as well. well. I said I was long left. I wasn't long left because there's more bunker in there, but I've literally sat right on the top of the bunker. Um, but again, going back down that hole, you probably get a better sort of appreciation of the shape of it. Anyway, sure up and see if we can get this up and down. Just gotta roll out that. Ah, oh, bang on line as well. Bang on line. Well, that's left me, I can't believe, from middle of the fairway the tee shot that I hit I can't believe I've got sort of 10 12 foot per par oh wow 13 is a bit of a backdrop bit of a view I don't really want to bring the camera around this way a little bit because you can see um, the hotel at the back of the 18th green there at St Andrews um, St Andrews just tucked away the, the, the town of St Andrews just to the right and then obviously to see the waves there in the distance that's a pretty decent backdrop this is called Broad View beware of the downward sloping ferry to the right of the green this green is best approached from the left side okay we will do our best okay so I can see the tip of the flag I'm going to aim towards that sort of if the left side, I'm going to bunker, fairway bunker slightly down the left, and that's the line. Oh, that's too far, too far down the left hand, it stayed there. Oh, that's absolutely fine. That's not bad at all. It's on a bit of a brow, and uh, that bunker seems to be, uh, well, I've avoided it anyway. What a view though, look at that, you can see for miles. Right, I probably, like I said, just a bit further left than I would want to have been, but uh, we've got a line into the flag. I'm, got, I'm playing it a bit blind. I've got 120 in. I've got an amazing view from up here, uh, but I can't see the green. So we're reliant on this yardage. I don't think I've got enough of that, have I? Have I? Has it got up? You can see better than me. Oh! Go ball! Oh! oh. I'm asking the camera woman to walk forward. Can you see it yet? Right, well, again, I think slightly on the lucky side, because I thought I might have got that just a little bit heavy, but that has worked out perfect. We now need that putter to kick in and do its work for a birdie. What a golf hole. 
Well, we're going to take this one serious. We're going to see if we can finally nab that birdie. I can't believe, and I don't think we'll quite get it on the camera, just how big these slopes and runoffs are. The information that was in the course planner was well worth noting because you don't want to miss this on the right hand side whatsoever and feeding off that left which my ball did like i said perhaps a little bit fortunate but that's where it needs to be right now over to the putter mammoth bunkering and great protection of the hole Oh, I didn't move at all. Didn't move at all. Played it on the uh, left hand side and it just stayed there. And uh, unfortunately, missed the birdie. But we got the par. Great views, great layout, and uh, yeah, all together, great golf hole that is. One thing I like about the design of the Dukes is the fact that every hole is very much secluded. You, I don't think we've seen anybody else onto another fairway. And what that also does is someone like me who's first time playing it, it's very much a surprise each time you get to the next tee box as to what's going to be laid out in front of you. And again, another stunning par three, which is what brought this thought to my attention, to be honest with you. But we've got Breeze right into us. Uh, it's playing 180. And uh, yeah, not too easy. And obviously those bunkers make an appearance. Ah, oh, has it gone enough to get there? Yeah, it has. Do you know what? That's a decent shot into the breeze, over to the putter for another 40 foot birdie. Right, we'll switch back on again and see if we can get that infamous birdie put. This is a long one. Green complexes are huge uh, and plenty of movement on them. And that's no difference here either, to be honest with you. Fair movement off the right hand side. And that's high enough, is it? Roll out, roll out. No, not firm enough hand. And all of a sudden from birdie put, it's that slippery I don't know, four or five footer, which nobody likes. And with break. We made it. Why well, get your drive away on 17 and uh, there's the question. Can you hit straight down between those two trees? Flag is right in the middle of them. Frame absolutely stunning. Well, that's just drifting off to the right, is it? Go ball. Oh, that was short anyway. Oh, what a stunning looking golf hole. And now that's framed, that second shot. Delightful. Right, down the steps, I've got wedge and putter. I've just missed the green down in this little hollow. And that stone wall is uh, 
is gorgeous but I'm hoping just for a chip and a putt on 18 to finish off this round run on ball run on run on oh well that's good in terms of the chip can I finish it off and make what would be a great up and down the views I've got right now right over the town of St Andrews gorgeous again the clubhouse on the top is not too far away either and I've, uh, the views they've got from there are incredible right shut up and can we hold it yes a good finish the putter finally did its piece on the last hole and uh, a great golf course here the Dukes in St Andrews something totally different from what we've experienced so far and uh, well worth a visit